Hi guys, welcome back to The Social Tune in a brand new episode of Retrospective Rambles. And today we're going to talk about a song that's been on my mind quite a bit recently. Cheap Thrills by Sia featuring Sean Paul. Now, obviously this was a big hit back in 2016, a huge hit, um, originally just with Sia and then remixed with Sean Paul, although both, both versions have become quite popular in their own rights. And it just strikes me as kind of baffling that this song was so huge, because, okay, Sia obviously had her huge big breakthrough with Chandelier back in 2013, uh, 2014, sorry and uh, then had a couple of minor hits after that. And Sean Paul, I guess he had Bailando, but apart from that, he, he's always just kind of been there, lingering in the background. And putting these two on a track together makes absolutely no sense to me, even to this day. Um, and let me get this out of the way. I think the original version with Just Sia is actually a pretty decent song. It's, it's not great, and the song's about uh, not wanting to spend too much money while I while out on the town. Uh, there are better ones out there, but at the same time, it's serviceable enough. Uh, but the remix with Sean Paul, I don't hate it, but I just can't sit through it. It's so weird. It's so bizarre and odd, and it just makes no sense. It feels like two worlds that should never have met coming together for some bizarre, odd, twisted reason. Which, to be fair, bizarre, odd, and twisted describes a lot of Sia's appeal quite well. Um, but yeah, this is a weird pop song, even for 2016, where pop was just dead in every single form. I, I mean it, going back to 2016, I, I know that some people say that there are worst year, that there are worse years in the 2010s, but oh my god, it is just such a barren wasteland of quality. Um, Anyway, I don't want to turn this into a round in 2016, but, oh my god. Anyway, um, but yeah, to focus back on the issue, I think the songs, both versions are, uh, I mean, neither of them are great. Even in 2016, they don't really stand down that much. But again, they were big radio hits, and you can kind of see why when you compare it to everything else that was out at the time. Um, personally, I would say that I prefer the original, but if you like the remixed version, then please do tell me why, because, oh boy, I, I just cannot comprehend it. But anyway, those are my quick brief thoughts on that song. It's just been on my mind recently, it's been bugging me. Um, but uh, yeah, what do you think of it? Leave your thoughts down below, as well as, you know, any other songs that you think you'd like me to talk about. I'm sorry there's a lot of noise in the background today. I just, God, it's a very loud part of town and I think there's construction or something going on. But anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts and uh, until the next time, I'm Finn and this is The Social Tunes, signing off.